But most of them, some of them deny that they receive that fund. Some of them uh, uh, categorically deny. I don't know if you can if you can confirm some if you know some comments <laughs> not here or actually that you for sure know who received the for No, I the knowledge, my knowledge of the fertilizers comes only what I what I saw in the documents and what I saw in the newspapers today, the list of the site. That was done before 2004 and I I continue to be in the private sector, so uh, I, I never really involve myself in the politics uh, uh, of this country mm -hmm. only until now. Sir, good morning. I'm the last part of the episode. You have said that you're doing a focus in war, uh, you're almost going around to this part of the country. Um, so far, sir, ano ang response ng mga sectors or what sectors probably ang nalalapita ng culture of the world? And then, sir, confirmation ng po, tatapu ba kayo sa 2010? Firstly, dun sa pag-iikot ko, ay umiikot lang ko ang pan-invitation kasi sometimes it's very expensive to go on to work on these places. So mostly my audience is a professional group thing. I spoke, so I'm also an accountant. I spoke uh, in the, as a keynote speaker in the BIPA convention. Uh, uh, I, I speak in uh, different, uh, I've spoken in about three big rotary clubs, uh, uh, two in Northern Zone, and one in Northern Zone, one in Leva Isilia, and Makati Road, and Makati Road. I'm sorry, Manila I've also uh, have been invited uh, by some NGOs, particularly focusing um, on the urban group. I've, sp I've spoken as a urban group. I've also have spoken uh, as a keynote speaker for the college editors of the Philippines uh, in their in their convention. And uh, so that is where I talk about your advocacy a little more about corruption. But I just want to be clear that the corruption for the Milan pool, so for the Milan, there are many government employees that are honest and by the way. It's not that there is any corruption that I've seen in the GPPNBN scandal. Because that's my first time in information. And also, I talk about also corruption in the private sector. Because I'm in the private sector, I think that there is no corruption in the private sector. At saka po, nakikita ko rin yung corruption sa ating mga impact, not all, no? But meron lang ang natin, may corruption rin sa balat barangay at yan, sa grassroots. Yun rin po ay aking, I talk about that because if we can change and corruption in the grassroots level and teach our children value, better value than what we have today, and hopefully, if I like the way other people are doing today, although they may not be affected on, on us today, maybe for I have a son, maybe it will help my son, or maybe it will help your children's generation, or the next generation. I believe mean, it has to start the sound. Secondly, now, in answer to your 2010 question on the election, but I'm not uh, uh, doing any plans for any election because my focus, for, I don't think there's going to be an election. And second of all, my focus is now on the impeachment campaign. And prior to that, I'm also focused on the ZT and the committee report that I'm going to the Senado. And then I'm also focused on the case that I filed against the government on the rate of harvest data. And the cases that I demanded on the ombudsman of that and corruption. So I have my hands full between court cases and advocacy work and my trying to earn a living. So it's a hard thing to see what I am and I am going to do. Good morning, I'm Ali of Sunshine News. I'm sorry that I don't know something. Sir, going back to the impeachment issue, on your personal assessment, I know you presented Congress, part of Congress and Senate, that would support it. Uh, you say it's Congress, so, uh, uh, the party is Congressman, uh, expressed support of it, and, uh, and all of the minority law has, has expressed support of it. 
and they will argue for it during the during the deliberations on next week. This is uh, uh, committed to me as related to us, related to me by Commissioner Zamora, Commissioner Davis Rodriguez, and the minority block. That during the deliberation, especially the one on substance, determining if the impeachment complaint is of substance, don't see that at all. Para pagkaban yung impeachment complaint at kayo mga relasyon at saka yung mga evidensya. Kasi kung hindi po nila pagkaban yung mga administration members ng Justice Committee, pwede yung pasura lang yung impeachment complaint. Hindi, kung hindi po nila pagkaban yung congressman o bubulang doors, hindi po nila pagkaban yun. Kaya wala po lang may AD na congressman yun. Yes. Or less. Well, if we have now, I think five, and then we put minority two block of twenty-eight, so I will be about mid thirties, Malayo. So, and our main goal is that, sure, so the congressman I to follow the budget and screen up or get the court battle. They will arrive. We will. We will have the election coming up in eighteen months. So, important thing for battle is that we are not stupid. By the way, sir, yung court barrel, may sinihin niya or mandated by law na dapat ibigay talaga sa kanila? Oo po, that's mandated by law. So, hindi ba sila dapat yung nail down or whomever, di ba? Yeah, kasi sa bakas po yun, yung general appropriations act. So, i-exit ko lang ng TBM para bilhin siya ng 5 million sa lito nila kaysa kong mas pa. Tapos yun na. And then, kung meron ka siyang hihingi na extra doon, kung suspect yun, siya suspect yun siya. And ano niya rin, normally sa mga kapit sa suspect yun, but normally, in ideally, the 70 million that they're allocated, that's not allowed.